right, welcome back to YouTube. I'm going back to my word file. I'm going to scroll down a list of songs and backstories that I have to them. Um, let's see here. Seafaring. Seafaring by the Butthole Surfers. This is what this video is about. This video is about seafaring. The backstory to seafaring by the Butthole Surfers. Okay. I wrote this song in my first fifth... In my first year of fifth grade while in attendance at CCA before I flunked out and got expelled. I gave it to Pierce to deliver to Gibby Haynes for me. Apparently he received it and deemed it worth his time. This song is about leaving the school because it was all a lie. A seafaring is a metaphorical coin. In this situation, the song itself that bought my ticket out of there. Sometimes I get messages through the air or through other people from musicians telling me they're trying to reach me. This has happened with Katrina Garside, Gibby Haynes, They Might Be Giants, John LaHoy, John LaHoy, Mika Levi, and John Frusciante. John Frusciante had been trying to, co to contact me over some extended period of time, and he seemed to be trying to tell me that I wrote some of his songs, but I didn't remember any of this until I looked him up and started listening to his music. A couple of songs I stumbled into surfaced residual memory, and one in particular occurred to me to have been one that I wrote. The song is Resolution. We tried last thing a moment, three lies opened the door. It occurred to me that this song was in reference to Ted. It was one of those songs that contained blurred lines, variability, and a couple of the lyrical stanzas that had the effect of either waking the listener up or inspiring them to give up on life. I remember that giving up hope was an underlying theme in my time with this person. I would explain that hope is false and an obstruction to hearing. If you're not comfortable with what you're hearing, I would explain, ignoring it and pretending it isn't there isn't always the solution. An individual has to be able to assess the situation and determine whether it is or not, and you can't do that if you're not listening. It's like if your house is on fire, you can't just sit there and hope it goes away, you have to do something. We already mutually sealed his fate, but I figured because the answer was in these songs, they would come to him at the right time and be useful in the cultivation process of his next incarnation. Another extension on this thought process was Wien's Flutes of the Chi. And that is the backstory to Seafaring by the Butthole Surface. Thank you for listening.